In this question, we're going to look at fixed point uh, iteration. Rather than read the whole question out, I'm going to split the question up into different stages. So it says here, Sarah is looking for the root of an equation sine x squared minus cos 4x is equal to 0 that lies between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. She used standard small approximations for sine theta and cos theta to find an estimate. Show that Zara's method will give an estimate of 0 0.33 and then use the change of sign method to determine whether this value gives an estimate of the root correct to two decimal places. So, so for small theta in radians and in the exam, this is actually on the formula booklet. So sine theta is approximately equal to theta. Cos theta is equal to 1 minus a half theta squared. So sine x squared minus cos 4x is equal to 0. This uh, will become x squared, and then this will become minus 1 minus a half of 4x, all squared, is equal to 0. So it gives x squared minus 1 plus 8x squared is equal to 0, which gives 9x squared is equal to 1. x squared is equal to 1 ninth, though x will be equal to plus or minus 1 third, but we're only interested in the positive square root which to two decimal places, one third is 0 0.33 as required. Now, if we use the change of sign method, so 0 0.33 lies between 0 0.325 and 0 0.335. So when x is 0 0.325, we put that into here, making sure our calculator is in radiant mode. So we've got sine 0 0.325, squared minus cos 4 times 0 0.325 is equal to uh, minus 0 0.162. And then when we take the upper bound, which is 0 0.335, we're going to get the sine of 0 0.335 squared minus cos of 4 times 0 0.325, oh, sorry, 0 0.335 is equal to minus 0 0.116. As there's no change of sign, 0 0.33 is not a good estimate. In order for it to be a root, there would have to be a uh, change in sign. Because the curve would have to pass from one side of the x-axis to the other. Okay. So, she then rearranges to use fixed point iteration to find the other root. Show that the equation can be rearranged to x is equal to a quarter cos to the minus 1 of sine of x squared. Then show using x0 is equal to 0 0.4 gives a value x1 of 0 0.3526991, correct to seven decimal places, and then continue the method to find the root to three significant figures. Okay, so rearranging is it's quite straightforward. So it's cos 4x is equal to sine squared, not sine of x squared. So 4x will be cos to the minus 1 of sine of x squared. x will be a quarter cos to the minus 1 of sine of x squared. So, as required. Right, we now need to put 0 0.4 into there to get the value. So, I'm just going to show you how to do that on the Casio calculator. So here we have the Casio calculator. So if we go into uh, menu number one, okay, first thing you need to check is that your calculator is in uh, radiant mode. Let's delete anything that's in there. So that'll be F2, delete all F1. Okay, so what first thing we need to do is just put point 0.4 in, point 0.4, and then put, uh, it'll give you 0 0.4. Right, then we need to put in one quarter, so the fraction button, one quarter of inverse cos, inverse cos, a bracket, sine of the answer. So instead of x, you put the answer squared, close the bracket, and then press uh, XE and we'll get the value that is required. So you just need to show some sort of working though. So 0 0.4, X0 is 0 0.4, so X1 will be a quarter of cos to the minus 1 of sine of 0 0.4 squared, which will give the value for answer of 
of x uh, x1. Now you need to continue that to get the answer to uh, three significant figures. So if we go back to the calculator, if we now keep pressing the uh, answer button, it, you can get the next set of inter iterations just by keep pressing and you'll get it to the required amount of value. So in an exam, of course, you would be expected to write these down. Okay, so writing the values down from the calculator, like I've just shown you, until we get agreement, how many decimal, oh, we want three significant figures. So it looks like it's going to be uh, 0 0.36023 significant figures. Okay, so it's been a video to show you how to use small angle approximations and how to use the change of sign method and how to use fixed point iteration. Uh, I hope you understood and uh, thank you very much for watching.